in the meantime, while we wait for platforms and governments to act, what can parents do right now to keep their kids safe online? So, and I think the uh, CCH has done some fantastic research about this, and it's not dissimilar to what you should do to keep your kids safe in any environment. First of all, as a parent or a caregiver, educate yourself about the risks. So make sure you really understand. I don't think you'd send your kid to camp without working, what, working out whether they'd be safe while they were away and making sure that there were trusted adults who were there who cared about health and safety. So just like if you're having your kids in any other environment, educate yourself about what that environment is like so that you can be sort of attuned to and sensitive to the risks. Talk to your kid, like talk to your kids. And I know that lots of parents and caregivers feel inhibited from doing that because they're, they're worried that they'll be embarrassed because the children will know so much more than them and they're worried they won't even know what the names of the platforms that their kids are using are and so on but you just need to go over that in the same way that you have other awkward conversations with your kids about their birth control or any other uh, thing that you need to know about so that they are keeping themselves safe have the awkward conversation to make sure that your kids know that you're there for them and that you are interested in keeping them safe so have the awkward conversations get over the embarrassment it's far too important for your embarrassment to be inhibiting. So make sure you talk to them, make sure you set ground rules. And you know, that's just true about any form of parenting. There should be ground rules about this in the same way there should be ground rules about when people need to get in at night and when they need to call you to let you know that they're on their way and so on. If you put boundaries around everything else, you have to set boundaries around this. But the fourth thing, and again, please ever, ever feel inhibited from this. If you think your child's social media use is getting out of control, get help, get help. Because the thing with ADH, you know, works on such a broad range of issues is because actually there's such a broad range of dangers. Yeah. And there, there will be specialist help for if you think your child has gone down a kind of incel rabbit hole or is kind of turning sort of again, feminism or is being sucked in. Um, you know, Islamophobic extremism or anti-Semitic extremism, or if you think your kid is being dragged into something, there will be a specific organisation that's there to help. 